Like most 10-year-olds, Jake Begley is a huge fan of weed. His favorite sport? Baseball. Yeah, I like pitching the best. Jake's making up for lost time. Over the last few years, he has spent many days in Children's Hospital, undergoing two separate surgeries to remove cysts on his brain. And I was having a... He keep having headaches a lot, and that came back again, and I had eye surgery on both eyes. One side effect of the surgery is short stature. A lot of uh, routine visits with the endocrinologist. They said um, last year that his, he was not growing as he should. His weight was increasing uh, accordingly, but not his, his height. So this past March, doctors recommended that Jake take a daily injection of human growth hormone every night at 9 o'clock for the next three years. There's four places right here, right here, right here, and right here. Does it hurt? No. Not at all? Mm -mm. The first time? Yeah, the first time. It How hurt. bad did it hurt? Really bad. But the family feels well, it's pain well worth it. We see the results. He's grown and, you know, people are, don't really bother him or don't make any comments to him about his size. Growth hormone drugs have been around for 50 years, prescribed to children who are short with an underlying medical condition like Jake Begley. But in the last six years, because of an FDA ruling which allows the drug to be prescribed to children who are just plain short, the number of children using the drug has risen dramatically. And because of that, the drug is gaining more attention. Take this recent New York Post article titled, Kids Dope Up to Get High. It suggests private school students at Dalton Prep in New York are taking this, quote, miracle grow for kids because their wealthy parents are looking to give them a leg up. Sounds extreme, but the drug is not prescribed lightly. There are guidelines that need to be met in order to get the prescription. A child must be shorter than 97% of other children their age, or the child has a projected adult height far below the average, which is 5 feet 3 inches for men and shorter than 4 feet 11 inches for women. Those kids receive growth hormone. You're giving them what they're missing, and they grow incredibly well. They catch up. Um, to um, where you would think they should be based on their genetics and, and their age. Dr. Paul Bopel, a pediatric endocrinologist at Mass General Hospital, treats these kids daily and says those few inches a child may gain with the drug comes with a hefty price, as much as $20,000 per year. Insurance won't cover the injections if your child is short with no underlying medical condition. And there are the side effects like headaches, glucose intolerance, and hip pain. And like any other drug, there's no guarantee it will work. So there is some um, choice involved and some judgments involved, both on the doctor's part and the family's part. But I think that it is important to kind of explore what the options are with families so they understand that. Jake Begley's parents pay $2,000 out of pocket every 90 days. It is a lot. It adds up. Yes. <laughs> but it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Definitely okay. worth it, says this sports Why fan not? who is getting closer to reaching his goal. That's In the past awesome. nine months, Jake has already grown three inches from 4'3 to 4'6, and he's pretty excited about that. So I can play more sports and get taller. Taller's, you think taller's better? Yeah. Sarah Underwood, Fox 25 News.